Okay, my guest is John Payne, the author. And John, we're going to do what we call the lightning round. Ready? Are you ready for the lightning round? Bring it on, Bob. Okay, question number one. John, you were in the Army, you were in the Medical Service Corps, but if you had to choose a different branch of the service and a different specialty within the service, what might that be? Well, interestingly enough, it would have been the infantry. I was in ROTC for four years in college. In the infantry, uh, that was the only branch offered by my college. And I like to hunt, I like to shoot, I like to do things. But I was in pre-med also for four years and got a degree in biology and didn't proceed on to medical school because I was up to my neck in science. I was wanting to get into the military and lo and behold, I got commissioned in the Medical Service Corps. So- Good for you, good for you. Hey, so, all right, second question, you ready? Ready. What do you think was the greatest life lesson that you got from your time in the Army? Well, that's a good question, Bob, and I, I probably have several, but primarily the, the biggest disappointment and the life changing thing for me was my service in Vietnam. Uh, went over there really gung ho, really thinking that we were doing a job protecting our country and after 13 months uh, never believed that anymore and started to question why in the living you know what are we doing this far away when this particular uh, uh, culture will never change why are we wanting to change their culture why do we think they are a threat to the united states so this was about at my 10-year time in the service and I was about to get out because I was just didn't think uh, I wanted to pursue this pursue this any longer so that that was kind of a a life-changing thing and and lo and behold this Afghanistan thing is just tore me apart what in the world why are we trying to change the culture of another country stupid 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 interesting stuff Third, third and quant final question, John. What is one interesting fact about John Payne that maybe most people don't know? Well, the interesting fact I think is people can't believe I'm an author. How can you write books? Where do you get the information? How do you think and, and, and what, what, why do you want to do it? We're going to talk about you being an author today. Okay, that's the lightning round with John Payne. If you want to hear about how he became an author, you got to listen to the full podcast.